Hello, YouTube. There was a very interesting discovery recently in the country of Kazakhstan. Unique petroglyphs of the Bronze Age have been, have been found in that country. And the reason I'm telling you this today is because there are rumors possibly from one of the archaeologists who was quickly summoned to the site about very strange depictions of what you could call alien-like beings in the petroglyphs. But I don't have more proof than I'm telling you now. However, I want to tell you about this uh, discovery in more detail so at least you know where to keep your attention directed to. I'm sure in the near future we'll hear more. And also to give you a panorama, so to say, of um, petroglyphs and drawings in Kazakhstan, very unusual ones. And you can see my other videos about Kazakhstan and its paranormal phenomena and also some of the historical mysteries connected with that country. So in April of 2024, there was this fascinating discovery. And again, very scant information. The national campaign titled Taza Kazakhstan was in full swing. The second week aimed at cleaning and beautification of historical and cultural sites had ended and volunteers who participated in the national environmental campaign, as I said, Taza Kazakhstan, they made a sensational discovery. In the Zhambil region, about 3.5 kilometers from the village of Aktogai, Bronze Age unusual rock carvings were discovered. The petroglyphs reaching 2 meters in height and more than 15-20 meters in length depict scenes from everyday life and the world view of people of the distant era. We came across very unusual drawings, and in order to understand their meaning, we turned to archaeologists for help, according to one of the volunteers, Ali Jean Pazilbekov. We hope that this discovery will shed new light on the history of the region. As explained by archaeologist and historian Sauran Kaliev, the age of the petroglyphs exceeds 4,000 years. Finds of such an age with such a large number of images on one surface are rare for the Jambil region. Moreover, they record interesting features of the life of the ancient people who inhabited the Karatao mountain range. According to the expert, this region is one of the most unique monuments of human civilization, not only in the history of Kazakhstan, but also in world history. The newly discovered Aktogai petroglyphs represent a unique culture of the Bronze Age that spread across the southern regions of Kazakhstan. Images of this type were discovered and studied in the places of Arpa Ozen, Koibagar, Sauiskandik, Eshkikolmes, and Tandalitas. The Karatao Mountains range in Jambil region is an area inhabited by people from the Bronze Age period. This is one of the most unique monuments. That's what Mr. Kaliev said. And uh, he is the director of the Sherhan Murtaza Ruhiniyat and Historical Studies Center of the Department of Culture, Archives, and Documentation of the Akimat of Jambil region, historian, archaeologist, and ethnographer. Currently, there are 3,468 historical and cultural monuments in Jambil region. Imagine that, 3,468. Of this, Five monuments are under UNESCO protection, 25 are of national significance, 698 are of local significance, and 2,742 monuments are under preliminary registration. Now we have findings that could put us on the uh, galactical uh, significance, I should say. But we'll see. So all of these uh, monuments are protected by the law 
on the protection and use of objects of historical and cultural heritage. These Aktogai petroglyphs were discovered by the archaeologist Kaliev during the study of the area. So they took this monument on preliminary registration, and now it is under state protection according to the law. Uh, they must conduct a comprehensive study of the subject with the involvement of specialists in petroglyphs. All historical and cultural monuments, starting from small mounds and ending with entire ancient settlements, are of great value to the state and the people of Kazakhstan, according to Kunash Daurembekov, director of the Directorate of the Protection and Restoration of Historical and Cultural Monuments of the Department of Culture, Archives, and Documentation of the Akimat of Zhambil region. So they're paying attention. More than a hundred petroglyphs of Karatao, mostly engraved on rocks and boulders of various sizes, depict the religious beliefs, customs, traditions, and rituals of nomadic tribes of that time, as well as the economic way of life, they abound with images of birds and other animals. According to experts, the subject matter of the drawings is diverse and carries a certain semantic load. Interesting. For example, an image of Campbell symbolizes wealth and strength. Many of the rocks are carved with scenes of hunting a mountain goat with dogs and catching birds. All this makes it possible to learn about the lives of people in the distant past and their worldview. Scientists plan to conduct further research on this unique historical monument, rock carvings or petroglyphs, are unique letters from our ancestors, how they lived and hunted, who they worshipped. Um, a rich variety of these drawings have been preserved in Kazakhstan. Um, apparently, the, the, those letters include uh, references to beings that uh, came from other parts, probably, of our universe. Petroglyphs are ancient rock carvings on stone. Their ages vary from the Paleolithic up to the Middle Ages. Often the drawings depict primitive forms of animals, people, and tools. Um, as I said, they symbolize the way of life of ancient people. The rock carvings found on the territory of modern Kazakhstan are distinguished by their picturesqueness and sp the specifics of their application. There is no clear opinion in the scientific world about the purpose of petroglyphs. Here are just some hypotheses. The petroglyphs were part of some kind of magical ritual, which according to the ideas of primitive people, was supposed to bring luck in hunting. Let me just add that, uh, you know, from the point of view of the 21st century, I wouldn't call those people primitive. Um, you know, I see the graduates of modern universities. I think the primitive people can easily easily outsmart them and in many ways are more agile and uh, intelligent. But let's continue. Petroglyphs were a talisman against evil forces and helped shamans enter a trans state, communicate with the spirits of their ancestors and ask them for protection. Petroglyphs as letters to future their generations were supposed to warn about the danger that may come from certain animals, tribes, and tell about the life of their ancestors. And I want to add maybe a danger that comes from certain stars outside our planet. Petroglyphs were the first manifestations of the creativity among ancient people. That is, petroglyphs were just drawings and fantasies. In this regard, supporters of this hypothesis believe that it is not, it is not entirely correct to study the life of primitive men using petroglyphs. Um, well, what <clears throat> seems like a fantasy to modern scientists um, most likely was a reality to people who lived in those ages. I cannot call them primitive. I already stated my reasons. 
It is difficult to me- name the exact number of places with rock paintings that have survived to the present day. Sometimes they're found compactly, sometimes they're stretched for kilometers from each other in the habitats of ancient men. And no archaeologist can judge how much has not been discovered yet. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. And in the Central Asia region, I've studied it for decades, how there is so much under the sand and in other areas. Unfortunately, the exact number has not been calculated, even with us. For example, there is the Boraldai tract in the Turkestan region. Uh, There are a lot of these petroglyphs, not to mention Tamgali, where there is no exact number of drawings. There are a lot of them, according to archaeologist Mikhail Dekan, who I guess was involved in this discovery as well, Um, and uh, in Kazakhstan. Indeed, Kazakhstan is rich in petroglyphs. Um, I think the most famous gallery of rock paintings in Kazakhstan is Tamgali. This Tamgali site is located 170 kilometers northwest of the city of Malmati in the Chuili Mountains. If you are there, visit it. This is a real ancient art gallery. The paintings depict both individual animals and people as well as entire scenes from the life of ancient people. For many centuries, the rocks of small canyon with petroglyphs and the narrow Tamgali Valley have retained the significance of a sanctuary, a place where ritual ceremonies, magical rituals, worship of deities and ancestral spirits may have taken place. The sanctuary with a large number of rock paintings was discovered in the late 1950s and its study began in the 1970s. Archaeologists believe that this place is more than 5,000 years old, which makes it older than the Egyptian pyramids. That's according to modern science. I think the pyramids are much older, but let's leave it at that. Petroglyphs are concentrated in the canyon of the Tamgali site, on the walls of which there are over 3,000 drawings that have been preserved. There are images of monsters dressed in animal skins with curved hooked arms, courageous warriors with maces and battle axes, as well as deities, as the scientists describe it, with radiant halos around their heads, the so-called sun heads. Um, Others uh, assume it to be humanoid-like beings clad in the spacesuits or protective uh, clothing, but we'll see. The image of an animal, possibly a mammoth with a rider, looks unusual. At the same time, archaeologists believe that this is a vivid evidence of the interchange of cultures of the Great Silk Road era. Petroglyphs found on the territory of Kazakhstan are united by a common theme, the natural animal world. They depict living creatures. We have very few drawings depicting mountains, rivers, and even flora. Even if we imagine that the sun man is an interpretation of a plant, he is still presented as a living person. Mikhail Dekan, that's what he believes in. There are also drawings of married couples, women in labor, multi-figure compositions depicting people and animals, animal hunting scenes, bull sacrifices, and rituals. Hierogamy. Interesting fact, hierogamy from the Greek sacred marriage is the term used by researchers of mythology and religion to denote marital relations and a ritual symbolizing marriage between the gods. There are also unique drawings of Buddhist origin. According to legend, in the 10th century, the Buddhists following the Semirechia made a halt on the banks of the Ili River. But then the forces of nature intervened, the earth shook, and a huge block of stone crashed to the ground. Wise Buddhists took this as a sign and left images of the Buddha on the broken part of the rock and decided to return to their native India. They say that one has only to lean against uh, the Buddha carved on a rock to get a boost of energy. The Tamgali site is located near the village of Karabastau. 
It takes about four hours to get from Almaty to the side by car. Tourists' uh, trips or excursions take place on the territory of the Tamgali complex, and it's open to the public, which is open to the public, not all is. Then also there is the Hantau Rock Art Complex, Petroglyphs and the gorges of the Hantau mountain ranges have been created since the first millennium before common era. Many of the images of early nomads are unique to this day. In 1965, the engraving of the Amazon became a real discovery among the specialists in Scythian archaeology. She confirmed the guesses about the nature, about the ancient traditions of female warriors the scene of a deer hunt, the main participant of which is a naked naked woman kneeling and holding a stretched bow in her hand. Hence, the arrow is aimed at the deer driven by horse riders into the corral. The bow in the Amazon's hands is clearly modeled. The Hantau Mountains are located on the territory of the southwestern Balhash region, within the boundaries of the Chuili lowlands. You can get from Almaty to Hantau in eight hours by car or in seven hours by train to the Hantau railway station. Um, there's also a village of Sholak Korgan in the Turkestan region. Here at the altitude of 950 meters above sea level, near the Karatau Mountains, 25 kilometers southwest of Sholak Korgan, there is the Arpauzen site. This is another place where rock carvings were found. These are some of the most diverse drawings of the first and second millennia before common era. The petroglyphs of Arpauzen are not located on individual stones, but on flat slabs. Rock carvings have been carved there for many centuries. The rock slabs characterized by powerful patinization on a smooth surface were a kind of canvas for the inhabitants of this area until the end of the 19th century. There are over 3,000 images in total, scenes of hunting goats with dogs, household life, religious rituals, images of a camel and other animals. Some of the images are still being guessed at. Who is it? A bird, a kangaroo, or a dinosaur. There are also solar signs there. And <clears throat> in one of my <clears throat> videos about Kazakhstan, I tell the story of the Russian scientist and his discovery of the dinosaur images. Look into my uh, playlist, Central Asia. You will find it. I will definitely stay tuned to all this uh, news from Kazakhstan, and um, I want to find out what exactly they found near the village of Aktogai. What, what unusual rock carvings, what do they depict? Again, all I have is a rumor, and I like more concrete information, but I thought I should bring it to your attention too. So if you like my research, please support me through the links you will find in the description to this channel, to this video, I should say. Please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for your attention and support to my work.